There are many, many things that make a class great in AQW. You often think to yourself, you know, this class has an amazing heal and you can withstand Desilich's, you know, massive hits and you can solo Desilich with this class or this class is a, has a great, great damage output, you know, something like Chrono Dragon Knight, which just hits so hard and it's great for that reason or this class is really cool DOT ability, whatever. There are many, many things that make a class great, but many people forget to, forget to realize that another thing that can make a class great is how fun it is to use. This video is probably titled something like the best class in the game and I will be talking about in my opinion the best class in the game. It's not the best soloing class, it's not the best farming class, it's it's not even close to being the best soloing class to be honest, but it's my personal favorite class in the game and it's Card Clasher. This class is the embodiment of what makes a good class in AQW for me. Its theme is executed so perfectly with the design and the abilities and the and the uh, you know the overall layout of the way the abilities work and the way they interact with each other and the the uh, abilities themselves are really fun to use and uh, they have the little combo effects you can do and there are, there are certain times when you don't want to be using those combos and there are certain times when you do want to be using those combos and it's just it's an incredibly unique and interesting class to use and it's why and that's why I think Card Clasher is the best class in the game. Again, like I said, it's not because it's, you know, the best soloing class, it doesn't have the most damage, it's not the best heal, it's far from all those things, but it's a, it's a decent soloing class, but it's really, really fun to use. Firstly, uh, how the main, the main sort of uh, system, I guess, in Card Clasher works is you deal your, your two cards to one to your enemy and one to yourself using your first ability. Now it's it's spammable. It has 15 mana consumption with a two second cooldown. So you just keep spamming it, which adds to the uh, the enjoyment factor of this class. You know, if you're constantly using abilities and you're constantly, um, you know, considering what to use next, it really does make for fun gameplay. Just that in itself, outside of everything else I'm going to mention. But dealing two cards, it could be one of three cards, and uh, one, the three cards do different things. And you, like I said, you deal one to your enemy and one to yourself. Your next ability is called Tap. It consumes 25 mana, has a two second cooldown, and it basically just consumes the cards that you've selected. So you're essentially shuffling through a deck of cards and then you're consuming the cards that are on the top of the deck. It's, it's, that's a pretty decent analogy for what you're actually doing. And the animations, oh, the animations, they, they perfectly show all of this in real time. You see the cards in real time, and you can see what they're going to do based on what's on the card in real time. And then you've got your raise the stakes, which is, again, two second cooldown. I've mentioned before in the past that low cooldowns make a class instantly more fun to use, and this class has that. If you use raise the stakes, it does instantly deals amount of, an amount of damage to you, but it also increases the amount of damage you take, and it actually stacks up to four times. So you deal more and more damage to yourself, and you take more and more damage as you use raise the stakes. So you're really raising up the, the, the literally just raising the stakes of the fight. And then, but what raise the stakes does is it increases the effectiveness of your your ability that consumes the cards. So you can select the two cards, you know, you can shuffle the two cards that you want to use out of the deck and then quickly raise the stakes up and up and up to the point where you're comfortable and then BAM! Use tap and consume the two cards that are there and you've, you're just, you're on a roll. You can use raise the stakes as much as you like or as little as you like. You can use, you can use uh, deal and tap as much as you like or as little as you like and uh, you, it's just, I guess the, the, the world is your oyster when using this class. You can decide how to use it. You can decide how much you want to be risking it. You can decide how safe you want to play it. And uh, best of all, even though this class is very RNG related, the ability cooldowns are so short that it doesn't even matter. You know, like, it's a 1 in 3 chance to get the card you want. Well, you'll have 3 uses of your deal ability anyway within 6 seconds. So it's not even a big deal at all if you don't get the card that you want. Um, your last ability, it just deals a bit of damage based on how many stacks of raise the stakes you have. Not not the best ability, honestly, but uh, the first three are, com are amazing. They're so, so, so cool, and uh, it makes for a really, really cool theme. It perfectly bridges the gap between class look and theme and feel and ability usage. And just it, it mends those two things together and it blurs the line. You feel like you are dealing cards and you are consuming the cards. You you feel like you are a card clasher. It's so, so cool. 
This class is one of the best designed classes in the game, and it's my personal favorite class for that reason. And it really does bring up an interesting point when you, you compare and contrast this class to classes in the game now. You know, this class is a soloing class at the end of the day. It does soloing best out of all of, all of the, you know, things you want to do in AQW. And, uh... Compared to other soloing classes, this is way more interesting. It's, like I said, the best class in the game um, in terms of how fun it is to use and stuff. But really, uh, other classes that have come out are much better at soloing than this class, but they're nowhere near as fun to use. And if you, you start looking at the, the latest soloing classes that have come out, they're very, very similar. There are three classes in particular that I think are very, very similar that are all considered really good soloing classes. Let's, let's take those three classes and let, let's, let's compare them. So we got Arch Paladin, Lightcaster, and Legion Doom Knight. All three of those classes have an ability which you stack to increase your damage. That's, that's all three of those classes have that. Next, they all three of them have a heal, which is on a relatively short cooldown, which you use repeatedly to keep yourself healthy. Doesn't tie in any way else to the other ability. It doesn't apply effects that, that the other abilities are affected by. It's just a simple, you know, smack it, smack the ability button, and you've got a heal. Next, they all three of them have a nuke. They all three of them have a nuke, and that nuke becomes stronger and stronger as time goes by using your stackable and damage increase. And this is where Legion Doom Knight sort of splits off on the rest. Legion Doom Knight technically has like two nukes, it's kind of weird. But, uh, so that's, that's kind of different, but it's still very, very similar to the other two classes. But then Arch Paladin and Lightcaster, as their other ability, have, um, something that increases your survivability outside of your heal. So, Arch Paladin, you know, you seal your, your damage away, and then Lightcaster, you prevent your enemy from hitting you as much. So, it's bo both, cl all three of those classes are very similar. They're all very, very similar. And, you know, there are even more, you can draw, you can still draw similarities between those three classes and other classes. Like, Stonecrusher shares a lot of the same similarities between those classes as well. And Void Highlord even shares some of the similarities. And, you know, classes are getting so similar these days. I think, honestly, if the, the design team took the time to think of a concept like Card Clasher, for example, and they just really flesh it out, they go through many iterations of what could make this class great and they think of the best way to tie in the theme to the abilities to the animations to the you know the even the, the descriptions and the even if they did like the cool like cool sound effects and i think honestly card clash is the perfect example of what a class should be like in not only aqw but just any game the perfect embodiment of of what makes aqw a good game honestly because this cl this class is what showcases AQW's strengths the best.